Vietnam is projected to already be short 500,000 data scientists and up to a million information communication technology workers by 2020, according to the Ministry of Information and APEC researchers. As the country gears up to become a digital nation by 2030, how Vietnam acts today to prepare its workforce is crucial for its next stage of growth. Actually, Vietnam has a very huge population. I mean, 100 million people, and 70% of them are in the working age. I mean, the very young population. And also, the internet penetration in Vietnam is reached a very high level, at around more than 80%. Vietnam is very good at mathematics. Becoming a digitally competitive nation will take a strong vision. I think for the past few years, the government of Vietnam has already shown a very strong commitment to what is this transformation, but I think it's not enough. In the near future, we would like to go further and with more, put more of our effort in the digital transformation process. For instance, we will create a so-called sandbox to foster the innovation. FPT Software is a leading company driving Vietnam's digitalization efforts by helping regulators build digital economy frameworks. With a background in smart factories, artificial intelligence, and Internet of Things, they are laying the foundation to establish Vietnam as a competitor in the digital world. I think we need two kinds of investment. The first one is to invest in infrastructure so that everybody has an equal chance to the new thing. And the second one is that we need to adopt the new model of education especially the high-level education, I mean the university education. It do not need to take four years for a student to complete an engineering course. For instance, they can do it in only two years. And after they join the market, they can return to the school to learn a new skill if necessary.